This presentation analyzes the responses of Calamus residents who took part in the community visioning assessment process. The information in the following slides is intended to inform the Calamus visioning committee and design team during the design process. We conducted virtual community focus groups, surveyed 9th and 12th grade students from the Calamus Wheatland High School, and sent a random sample survey to 175 Calamus households. The quantitative data collected from survey responses complement the qualitative information gathered from the focus groups. Different transportation users have different needs and priorities. Older adults want access to local services. Active recreationists want to be challenged while engaging in physical activity. Parents are concerned for the safety of their children. People with mobility issues prefer smooth services and safe traffic crossings. Youth want complete sidewalks and safe crossings. We conducted focus groups with people from each of these different demographics to obtain a complete picture of the transportation system in Calamus. All user types in Calamus drive to local destinations. Older adults, parents, actives, and youth also walk and or bike. Older adults, parents, and actives indicated that they also travel via ATVs or golf carts. Focus group participants were asked what they consider community assets. Most of what people identified is related to walking and outdoor activity, including popular walking loops in town, such as Main Street, 5th, Grove, and 1st Streets. The trails at Mock Ridge Wildlife Area and Sherman Park were also mentioned. Older adults like to walk their dog at City Park. During the focus groups, participants also identified undesirable features in town, such as issues caused by the railroad, incomplete and poor sidewalks, visibility issues caused by lighting and blind spots, an absence of parking at the school, the park, and along Main Street. All demographic groups identified issues caused by the railroad running through town including the rough crossings, being cut off by trains stopped on the tracks for long periods of time, and the loud train horn. Finally, focus group participants had the opportunity to tell us what changes they want in Calamus. Suggestions focus on pedestrian improvements such as trails, better sidewalks and roads, and a pedestrian crossing over the railroad tracks. Some residents are also interested in beautifying Calamus with more green spaces and plantings. Survey packets were distributed to 68 students at Calamus Wheatland High School and eight, or 11.76%, completed the questionnaire. The results of the high school study are presented as follows what they said, going to school, and walking and biking. Routes to school and walking routes are combined with the commuting and walking routes identified by adult respondents in Wheatland. Although the data gathered through the survey are not statistically significant, the information presented here may provide insight into the needs and desires of this unique user group. Most high school survey participants carpool or ride with someone else to school. More than a third of students drive alone to school and 25% walk or take the bus. High school survey respondents rank characteristics and features that factored into their choice of route to school on a scale of one to five, with five being the most important. Among high school survey participants, avoiding snow, ice, water, etc and time to destination are the most important factors affecting their route to school. Students were asked to draw the routes that they walk and bike in town. These routes are included with the routes identified by Wheatland residents. 
They were also asked to rank characteristics and features that factored into their choice of routes on a scale of one to five, with five being the most important. Access to trails is important to both walkers and bikers. Good sidewalks are also important to walkers, while bikers most want access to the countryside. On a scale of one to five, with five being the most important, students indicated the characteristics and features they value most when biking out of town. Access to the trail from one's neighborhood, access to natural areas and the countryside, seasonal beauty, route distance, and birds and watchable wildlife are quite important to those biking out of town. Finally, we distributed a random sample survey to 175 Calamus households. Understanding what types of improvements are important to residents gives the committee insight into how to prioritize projects. The information summarized here includes respondents' willingness to help, their enhancement priorities, their preferred commuting, walking, and biking routes, and the qualities and features that are important during these activities. More than 57% of survey respondents answered that they are willing to help with the visioning process, whether this be volunteering time, money, or both. How do we get people to help? According to an ISU study of Iowa small towns in 2014, the most common reason residents said they didn't become involved in community projects is that no one asked them. Others indicated that they didn't know how to become involved. These results show that the best ways to get people involved in community projects is to simply ask them, along with advertising opportunities through traditional and social media outlets. On a scale of one to five, with five being the most important, participants in Calamus ranked creating safer routes to school as most important, followed by providing better night use. Other types of transportation enhancements that address pedestrian mobility, health, and safety are also considered important, such as improving accessibility for seniors and providing more opportunities for physical activity. In terms of quality of the built environment, survey respondents consider creating habitat for birds and pollinators as most important, followed by better neighborhood streetscapes and enhanced seasonal beauty. Most survey respondents drive to important destinations such as the convenience store, the post office, schools, and church. Almost 20% carpool or ride with someone else. More than 44% of participants indicated that they walk and almost 20% bike to their destinations. This map shows the commuting routes identified by 35 survey respondents. The frequency that the routes are used is depicted by their width with most frequently used routes being the thickest. The primary commuting corridor in Calamus is US 30 traveling east out of town. Portions of the Lincoln Highway Heritage Byway are also heavily traveled through town, including 5th Street, Main Street, and 2nd Street. People also take the Lincoln Highway east out of town. Some people travel out of town to the west on US 30. On a scale of one to five, with five being the most important, survey participants ranked the characteristics and features that factored into their choice of commuting route. Calamus respondents choose their routes primarily for other reasons, which include safety and avoiding stop signs and trains. Time to destination is the next most important factor in determining commuting routes. This map shows the walking routes identified by 48 survey respondents. The frequency that the routes are used is depicted by their width, with most frequently used routes being the thickest. Walking in Calamus takes place primarily south of the railroad tracks on Grove, Main, 1st, and 2nd Streets. A number of walkers make a loop consisting of Main, 5th, Grove, and 1st Streets. Some people walk east out of town along the Lincoln Highway Heritage Byway, and some go south out of town on 176th Avenue. Some walkers even walk along US Highway 30, both within and outside city limits. 
On a scale of one to five, with five being the most important, survey participants rank the characteristics and features that make their walking experience better. These features are categorized as either connections or conditions and elements. The most significant influencers on people's walking patterns are good sidewalks. Well-kept surroundings and lighting are also important to walkers. This map shows the biking routes identified by 27 survey respondents. The frequency that the routes are used is depicted by their width, with most frequently used routes being the thickest. Like walkers, cyclists primarily ride south of the railroad tracks on 1st, 2nd, 5th, Main, and Grove Streets. Some people bike east out of town on the Lincoln Highway Heritage Byway. North of the tracks, Spring Street is heavily traveled. Some bikers ride around Rose Hill Cemetery on Railroad and Davenport Streets. A few people ride along US 30 both within and outside city limits. On a scale of 1 to 5, with 5 being the most important, survey participants ranked the characteristics and features that make their biking experience better. Like walking, these features are categorized as either connections or conditions and elements. Among countless participants, other conditions, access to the high school, low traffic, and smooth surfaces are the most important elements. In terms of connections, trail access is most important to cyclists. This map shows out-of-town biking routes identified by 27 survey respondents. The frequency that the routes are used is depicted by their width, with most frequently used routes being the thickest. Portions of the Lincoln Highway Heritage Byway are the most heavily used routes among Calumas cyclists who bike both east out of town and west along the byway to the Syracuse Wildlife Management Area and on to Wheatland. Some people bike south to Sherman Park and others travel north to Mockridge County Wildlife Preserve. On a scale of 1 to 5, with 5 being the most important, survey participants also rank the characteristics and features that make their out-of-town biking experience better. In terms of connections, access to the route from one's neighborhood is most important. Significant conditions and elements among those biking out of town include low traffic, seasonal beauty, route distance, and birds and watchable wildlife. If you have any questions about this presentation of the community visioning process, contact the members of your local visioning committee or check us out on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. A complete set of assessment presentation boards can be found on the Calamus Visioning webpage at www.communityvisioning.org slash Calamus.